Hi, it's Alexis from AlexisPrish.com. I just got back from a run and I was downtown at the library and I ran into the coolest guy, Dan the Snake Man, and he is right here with a giant python. Named, <laughs> Dan? named Boo. Named Boo. Yeah. It's too cool. So how did you get into the snake business? Well, uh, me and my dad owned a dairy farm and just like a lot of other little kids, you know, I always was fascinated with snakes and um, I realized I'd never seen a big snake until I was like over 20 years old. And um, I, I just started collecting them one day, and the next thing you know, it led to uh, doing shows. Now I do rescue. I go rescue alligators and snakes in, in various places. And uh, it takes me to about 40 libraries, and I get to meet a ton of kids. I get to meet people from all over the world. And it's very, very cool because it's one of those things where everybody has a snake story. Yeah. No matter where you're from, <laughs> what continent you're from, what county you're from, wherever, everybody has a snake story. It's very cool. So it's really a, like a passion-led business. Absolutely, absolutely. You can't do this. You can't go into a hot room with no air conditioning with a hundred <laughs> screaming kids and not love it. You know, <laughs> really, really. And the questions never end and the interest never ends. It's one of those things you could do a show continuously forever and the questions just keep coming. There's always another question and there's always somebody else who wants to touch a snake, so. That's cool. Yeah, yeah and for those of you off camera before this, I got to hold Boo, I got to have him around my neck and that is like muscle, straight muscle moving through here. It's incredible. If you've never felt a python this size, it's just amazing. So for all the people out there running small businesses, what advice has really helped you as you've kept going? Because clearly you've, you've had a lot of challenges, both living and oh, human yeah. and otherwise. Oh, absolutely. Um, the only advice I can give is, um, unfortunately, um, this lady is about entrepreneuring. Um, I'm, I'm not a businessman. I was just lucky enough to find a niche and do something that I love. And then I never planned on having a business. It was one of those things that just I fell into. Yeah. I was doing shows one day, I was helping out in a pet store, and a kindergarten teacher came in with a couple of her kids and said, what kind of snake is that? And I just started talking, and the next thing you know, I just, you know, I just kept answering the questions, and she kept asking, and she said, would you come to my classroom and talk to my kids? And I said, yeah, sure. Yeah. And after that, the phone never stopped ringing. And so it's, it's not like um, you can look at me and go, wow, this is rags to riches. It's not the riches that I'm doing this for, it's because this is just one of the coolest things that, that I can share my passion with somebody and yeah. if you can make a little money and cover your expenses, you know, that's great. A lot yeah. of a lot of entrepreneurs would look at that and go, Dan, you're missing the big picture here, buddy. Yeah. You know? You could be doing Vegas shows. That's right, that's <laughs> right. But if you do Vegas shows, if you do big shows, then you lose the personal aspect like I have at the library. I can sit and talk to this lady and any kid that walks by, we can strike up a conversation about this. If you're on a big venue with thousands of people, you lose that personal that personal. So connection. you know your priorities. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's where you want to be with this. You want people, my catchphrase is feel the experience. And if, if I'm going to reach people and make them understand how cool snakes are, just like this lady, I need her to touch them and I yeah. need her to, to put it around her neck and I need her to appreciate it you know what the way they were meant to be appreciated so awesome yeah awesome so good advice figure out what your priorities are and follow them to make the business that works for you thank you so much dan the snake man thank and you. if you want to find him he is at dan the i'll put the link below awesome see you later